Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Flying in Space with Planet Head. Um, going to try to jump into it right away today. If you have watched the channel before, currently I'm doing an expedition where I'm only using wormholes. I'm not using er Eve Gates. I am out in one of my two home systems, uh, KP Tech FQ1, building some destroyers out here, taking on some battleships, and avoiding getting killed by other players, hopefully. Um, uh, I'll probably talk about this in a later video or maybe at the end of this video, but thank you so much to, I've gotten more mails in the last couple of 24 hours than I have my entire Eve experience, I think. Um, different, uh, guys who watch the videos <coughs> or comment, um, and, um, just some great info on those. Uh, so I really appreciate that. Um. <laughs> but I know a lot of times you boot these up and people are, I hate radio stations that talk about them, how their people versus, um, actual, like if you're things that are going on or music or things like that. So, I uh, did want to give you an update on my, uh, perpetual try to upgrade my coercers, uh, so I can kill battleships better, um, as my skills get better. If you've seen, uh, this is an alpha character, Amanda Rose. It's going to be my main character, I think, going forward. Um, and at some point, I'll go Omega with her. But she is a little limited in skills right now, so I've been working on the fits to try to figure out the best way to uh, kill more and more um, uh, battleships to get more stuff. And some of the battleships out here are pretty tough. Um, some of them I wasn't able to kill until recently actually as of yesterday um and i want to actually jump out and do that here in a second but i wanted to show you the difference between the two ships that i've got these are just basic fits that any alpha player can get they're not expensive at all now this was a ship that i died in to the battleships they uh got some critical hits on me before i was able to warp away i was kind of pushing things a little bit too hard um I had switched out a few items trying to get my power grid set up correctly and there's a couple major differences on this ship and the ship that I have now that I learned a little bit from nowhere near what it can be in the future um, but it is it can maybe give you guys some ideas it's given me some ideas to try some different stuff out so I'll go through this ship here and tell you what bonuses I tried to do um, and what I learned from it um, for the current fit, and then I'll try to go and blow something up. Uh, and I'll try to do this quickly. But um, when I first got the um, the ship, uh, I originally fitted it out with blasters, or uh, not beam lasers, um, the, the short range for uh, the MR. And they were taking up a lot of the power grid, and I was trying to maximize getting eight guns on it uh, versus seven, um, because it can fit eight guns. So I was trying to maximize that part of it. I was trying to maximize the damage, but I hadn't thrown on rigs yet, uh, because I was debating on, do I, do I tank it a little bit or do I add on more damage? I couldn't figure that part out. So I thought, well, let's try to get as much damage onto it as possible. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> then work from there. And so, I put on the beam lasers because they took a little less power grid and allowed me to get eight of them on there with, with the regular multi-frequencies because that's what you can see the, the most damage. Um, it is the shortest range, but it is the long, um, most damage. And then uh, I had a uh, battery on there to increase my capacitor so that I was thinking with that I could fire more often and a... Um, micro warp drive since I was going short distance um, even though the I was using beam lasers on this uh, it was still the distance to travel between the two uh, what I was hoping was I could close that distance quickly and then start uh, circling to get the, my transversal up with regular speed and hold off the damage from that I threw on two heat sinks here to try up Increase the damage through an armor repair on them to keep myself alive. You can see I didn't keep myself alive. 
And then I had some other scraps in here that I had picked up along the way. Um, so that was the first try, and it was working somewhat well, uh, but I was having to... In, and I was able to be a little bit farther out from the battleships. And I was able to close that distance. The major problem is when you do the micro warp drive, it increases your signature, which gives a better chance for those um, those battleships to actually hit you. Now the idea was to close the distance and turn off the micro warp drive, um, so that I became small again, and then circle them so they couldn't hit me. The other thing is normally the battleships have. Um, uh, escort frigates or escort destroyers and so I was having a problem with um, trying to hit them because uh, my distance was within I think it was about 8,000 kilometers that I could hit but I would overshoot those with the micro warp drive sometimes and they would go flying by me I might hit them once but I couldn't get them that second hit um, and then I was dealing with them at the same time as doing the battleships now, this is probably elementary for some people that play the game, but this is really a learning thing for me on uh, how to control my space. Um, and rather than just be point and click and just uh, tank whatever, um, I'm trying to learn the actual game. So if down the road I do get into PvP, I can get this part of it down so then it becomes more of a one-on-one -on -one type of thing. So... Definite bonuses to it with uh, closing closing ranges, and um, the the range of my guns was a little bit more, and I was able to fit on a, an eighth gun. Now, if I remember correctly, and it it did not have any rigs, uh, so I could have gone either way. I could have thrown on some uh, tanking rigs, but tanking a destroyer sometimes is almost not the best thing in the world. You never know. Sometimes if it gets you over that hump, especially when you're ratting, that's cool. Um, or I could have done more damage. Or done something where I could get more capacitor. Because one, the major issue I ran into was the final kill. And that was I would be able to kill off the frigates. And then whenever I would move in, and I, I'm going to try to start testing these fits out on the same... Um, battleship there's a dark lord sensor dark lord guy uh tyrant thingy um and i'm going to try to start doing that um because what would end up happening is i would i would kill the frigates start circling start pinging them down i'd have to repair every once in a while they get in a lucky shot and um but my capacitor was slowly dwindling and yeah i could fix some things with that uh with uh skilling up maybe fit a little bit differently, um, but uh, I would get into their armor, and I'd get about 40% down, and then, but my capacitor would run out, so I'd have to shut down the capacitor. I know there's uh, boosts and things like that that you can do for your capacitor as well, like uh, charges, but I'm trying to go basic right now. Um, so then I would have to shut my guns down, let it warm back up, and it would totally increase the amount of time it took me to try to kill this thing. Um, so my next incarnation has worked. I'm not saying it is the end all be all. Uh, I'm going with just salvaged parts, but this has worked a little bit better and I'll show you, I'll talk about it real quick. Then maybe we'll go out and try to blow stuff up as long as local keeps clear. Um, there is, I do need to stay focused while I do it because it is a destroyer. It is a glass cannon, a lucky hitter there. Um, can be a little bit tough. So, number one, I want to talk about uh, my damage per second. Not a huge amount, but it's actually better than the uh, damage per second I was doing with the other ship. And the reason why I bring that up is this one, I only threw on seven guns instead of eight. I did the beam laser, I'm sorry, the pulse lasers, the short range versus the beam lasers, which is long range. And it did take more power grid. Uh, but in doing so, I was able to figure out a few things. Um, and it actually gets more DPS. I think the ship that I had before did about 170 DPS. So I did add in rigs here for a accelerator, collision accelerator. 
and an aerator. The aerator, if I remember correctly, increases your uh, your rate of fire. Your um, accelerator increases your damage. Um, so I threw those two on. With these here, um, gave me a little bit more DPS than the other. Um, even though I have one less gun. Why did I go with one less gun? Because the power grid wouldn't take these modal pulse lasers. Uh, made it impossible for me to fit anything else with these rigs on here. So by dropping one gun, <coughs> I threw on a uh, Energy Nosferatu, which helps my capacitor issues um, because I'm actually leeching off of then the capacitor to fire the gun. So I'm basically leeching that power to shoot them with. So I'm doing more damage and I'm not losing my capacitor. I did go with only one heat sink. So my damage capacity went down um, because they take so much space on. Um, I might be able to put another heat sink in. Um, I could maybe switch that out with my uh, damage control. Um, but I don't have another one. <laughs> I haven't scavenged one in a little while, so I might do that. So I might be able to uh, increase this DPS. And then I threw on the armor repair so I can heal myself real quick if they get a lucky hit on me. And the last but not least, I went with the Afterburner versus the um, uh, Micro Warp Drive. Reason being, uh, the Afterburner allows me a little bit more control on the battlefield. My closing speed is um, slower if I do warp in it like 50 kilometers out. But my actual, I can leave that afterburner on while I'm circling. And that increases my transversal and it doesn't increase my signature radius. So I mean, I'm able to speed tank a little bit better. And then I just threw on, because I had a little bit of space left, this uh, compact Kuiper charger. So it helps me keep my stuff up and going. I couldn't put on a battery because of my power grid issues. Not a final uh, take on this, but it is my current take and it is able to do the job. And I'm gonna test it out for a while and then add on and throw a few things in there. There are definite things I could do in the mid slots and the low slots here, um, but I'm gonna mess around with this and I can make some isk and some material off of it so I can build other ships. Long term, I wanna go into a cruiser. You've heard me talk about that but I can mess around with this, and this is a great little backup ship if you want to mess around. I did just build a Dragoon um, that I'm going to mess around with too in the next couple of days. Maybe I'll do a couple of videos of that. Let's go ahead and get out here and do that. There's still nobody in system. Um, I apologize if I'm talking a little bit fast. I did just wake up. I had planned, oh, wait, there is a cosmic, there's a new cosmic signature, and nobody's here. That, I have scanned down ELX and YVH, obviously this is a combat site. That is, I think it's a data site, but it's a, like a level 5, I can't get it. But that is brand new right there, I don't know what that is. So we're going to go blow something up, then I'm going to shut this video down, I'm going to go check that out. So i got a reason to end this video quickly. So, um... Let me just go ahead and close that there. And let's get to the asteroid belt here. And again, um, I did actually name this the USS Johnston. I don't know if anybody has ever seen history or not. Um, oh, we just had somebody come in system. I need to watch out for that. Uh, so one month and seven days. Uh, he's probably going to get my... So I'm going to be safe here. Location, safe one. Shoot. I wanted to try this out. Let's see if he's going to hang out for a little bit. So let's do the work. you got to do the work. Um, so pull up his info here. He is a month and seven days old. He's still part of an NPC corp, so that's probably an explorer. Go over to Z Killboard. Z Killboard. And. Move 
Pseudo. Pseudo. Bulk. 765. So he's got no kills, nothing here going on. Looks like he's just been killed in a heron a couple of times. So I'm not too worried about him. Um, let's go try to kill some. Oh. Really? <laughs> I was going to go try This is why you keep an eye on local. <coughs> so we got another guy. This guy's been in here a couple times recently. And if I remember correctly, I think he kills explorers. Um, let's just check him out here real quick. Killboard. That is Toro and Fusion. So while he is he is a killer. Uh, let's make sure we don't have any combat probes. So we got two core sister probes up. So Lutvok's Heron is here. He doesn't see that the, um, the this guy here has probes up. Now he could be in an Estero. He's been around for quite some time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and dock. Oh, we got another guy. Let's get docked up. Wait. Stop my ship. Why did I stop my ship? Reason why I stopped my ship was... Well, let's keep the afterburner going. And we're going to keep in that direction. I don't see any combat probes up yet. So I'm fine there. Um, what I want to do is warp... Since space has blown up here, I am in null sec. I'm so used to flying low sec. <clears throat> but I have set up a safe spot near the stations to make sure <clears throat> that there aren't any bubbles at the stations. <clears throat> Who is this guy here? Surprise! So, so both of these two guys here are in the same core. Probably there's a good chance they're the same guy, and they're both. One of them is being active. So all I'm doing is I'm warping within 14.3 of the stations. And now I'll do a directional scan to see if there's any over here, any bubbles. There aren't, so I'll go ahead and try to dock up real quick and get out of harm's way. So the reason why I'm docking up here, I would love to, love to show you guys the... Uh, um, in the <laughs> coarser but obviously the system blew up a little bit there um as you can see here these guys in bad attitude um actually it looks like they have killed hasn't been too much recently since march there let's check out the other fellow here uh that's surprise with a three at the end but they do know what they're doing So this guy also, so surprise here, all green, so all killing stuff, um, and all of them are in stain, got an Astero, a Heron, an Astero, so this is the guy that is more likely to be trying to kill um, Mr. Ludovolk, 765. Um, so, <clears throat> I unfortunately can't show that. Uh, maybe next video. It gives me content for the next video uh, once it goes clear. Um, geez, Hurtman. 
these guys aren't moving or messing around. Um, but long story short, I've got the new Corsair here. If you guys have any ideas that you want to message me or in-game mail me, please feel free. Um, other than that, that's all I had. I really had kind of planned on to th throw that out. I have some longer videos um, that I thought about doing. I did just get a message that I was going to take today off work, but the guy who was going to cover for me uh, is uh, unable to come in, so I may have to go into work tonight. But really appreciate uh, everybody who's joined the channel so far, um, the in-game channel. If you, I'll probably bring it up a lot. Oh, there he is. Cool. Um, uh, and I had a couple corporations actually asked to be blued. Uh, I'll probably try to do a video on that. I, I want to start doing a little section about creating our own corporation. Uh, great shout out to um, one of the guys I had asked in the last video about how Talking in Stations, the channel, was no longer being done as much, if at all. I haven't seen it in about a week and a half. And he gave me a great history on what had happened with them. And it all makes sense. But um, other than that, it's all about all I got. Um, maybe I'll do another video tonight if nobody shows up, uh, or if I don't have to go into work. I'm, I was looking forward to playing a lot tonight, um, and I do want to do a video about balancing work life. That's the next one I might do is, uh, I'll, if I can get this course out and running around, I will. Um, if not, I'll do a video on balancing work life and Eve life and fun life, uh, so... That I learned a lot, actually, yesterday. So, other than that, uh, I'll go ahead and end it here. Fly safe, fly dangerously, fly however the you want. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye.